Hello, my fellow zombies. How you guys doing? My name is Zombie, and welcome back to Doki Doki. And if you guys didn't know, actually, when I open this game, it just goes Doki Doki, and it's super, super amazing. Ame okay. Um, basically, we're gonna go back in this game. I don't know. I thought I'd play it again because uh, we left off on a good point last time, and it was starting to get interesting, like more into the story. Uh, we're going to keep playing it, I guess. So we left off whenever she, like, read our story. Also. So we gotta continue. No! J just, just a little bit. You can't, you can't always just... You can't answer, yeah. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Also, by the way, the la the winner of the last shout-out, they actually beat Lex's, uh... Uh, streak, uh, it is J Hero, John J Hero. Uh, he got the first person to comment award, and uh, congrats, bro. Uh, check this out, bro. It's still my my broken leg of my, my arm of my chair. So my left side of my chair, I always go to lean on it, and I, it's never there. But I still my right. Uh, you can't you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or uh, how it... How should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's a bad. Is it bad to skip breakfast? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for sh showing me. E he he. This was so f much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the poem, the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll, I, I, I guess I look forward to it. Should show my poem to next. Also, uh, she corrected me again on how to pronounce them. So it's say or e, say or e. I've just called her Sari, by letter. Uh, and then Natska, uh, Natsky. Natsuki, I believe that's how you pronounced it. Uh, let's do Yuri. Dot dot dot. Mmm. Dot dot dot. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading that through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad? No. Did you? Uh, did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries a uh, blood. Bleh. Buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take you a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't notice. I really didn't notice. What are you saying? What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical for new writers. And having been through that myself, I, ca I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try, they try to make their style very deliberative, deliber de deliberate, whatever. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the express uh, expressive are weakened. Also, uh, another thing on the channel, I would like to get all my uh, story games done. That way, whenever I do it, I st uh, what's going to happen basically is that whenever I get them all done, I'm going to do a story game, and then the the next day, 
it's going to be something different. So like trying to finish this, a story game because I usually don't stay committed to him too very often. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demonator totally changed. Did not whatever that word is. I don't. I, I couldn't go back. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not enough. Uh, that's not something y you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning for by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a valuable, feed valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit based though. Based, how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that, sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts, the thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Uh, I this is weird handwriting. Ghost under the light. The tenderest tendril of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. I'm trying to read the best out of this. This I'm not really good with cursives to be honest. Go. Oh. Bathing. It must be this. The last remaining sheet light to have whistled the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sticking blue green blue of the future I bathe car I don't even know breathing air from the present but living in the past the light flickers I flicker back okay I don't understand but dot 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 I I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Ah, I couldn't tell. I couldn't read it. <laughs> she, like, already knew that I couldn't read it myself. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. I was. Don't don't lie. But it took you a long time to read it. Kind of, yeah, it did. I, could, I couldn't read it. Ah. Well, I just don't read the script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's your first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Tyler. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance in, in, eh, over it, after all. But remember the po the poets that often express their own thoughts, feelings, and ex experience in their own in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being sim symbolic. I don't know, compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. She's so sophisticated all of a sudden. That's a lot more soul solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Alright, next. Monica asking any me my name. Oh, I figured you now let's go. Monica. Hi Tyler. Having a good time so far? Uh yeah. 
good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're the new, you're new and everything. If you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up th uh, things, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be uh, afraid to bring things up. <laughs> I'm much better. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh, don't worry, Tyler. We, uh, we're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I, ha I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I, I like this one. It makes me think of something Siri, say or e would like. Is that so? You say Sayori are really good friends, right? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sort of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but so Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Huh, it's, huh. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you care about each other, each other's well-being. Even if it, even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So, I think that the that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Huh? You sure? I, I, you sure you're not reading into it too much? Uh, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in, in any case, say or, say or ease writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with, emo exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to e each their own. And you you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit based towards their own kinds of style, but I'll always I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyways, do not want uh, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims it's not very it's not yeah to be not very good well that's because i have to sound confident that doesn't mean i always feel that way you know i see well let's read it then oh, this one's long and it's a scroll bar hole in hole in wall it couldn't have been me see the direct see the direction the spackle pro products a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I, ne I never know, I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue, no I can't see, I real blind like a film left out of the sun, but it's too late. My re routines, I, I can't even read that, uh, ready scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just. A little hole it wasn't too bright it was too deep scratching forever into everything a hole of infinite choices I realize now that I wasn't looking in I was looking out and he on the other side was looking in so what do you think hmm it's very freeform if that's what you, you call it Sorry, I'm not really the right uh, really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. 
yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That's uh, that is a lot of poems have been putting emphasis emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. That's what the inspiration behind this one. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. I don't even know what that means. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An empathy? I don't even know what it is either. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too relax on the specific specific point. If you try so uh, so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to look, to get something down on on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think of this is this: if you keep your your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark, a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. The last person, Natsuki. <laughs> I just said Nazi. <laughs> Natsuki. Dot 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 question dot, dot dot question mark. Dot 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 Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't involve I just didn't involve any emotions. So basically it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyways, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. You'll like it. It's just short and like handwriting I can read. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can sneak. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. You already said that. People can try. But that's about it. You suck. <laughs> yeah. Can I read my own? I don't even know what it looks like. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in the high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make the, your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it's, it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand, but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the, on the wordplay. Like I set up for the rhythm at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps, it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did, I guess more went into it when I then I realized that's what I, I mean to be a pro I'm glad you learned something didn't expect that from the from the youngest one here did you yeah I guess not she does look really young I decide to humor her with that last comment I don't really care how old everyone is but Asky is feeling proud then I won't take it away from her we're done we get it Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That's a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they are being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sari and... Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. 
My eyes land on Yuri and Nasty. They're generally expressing sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Nasty's eyebrow uh, furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Did you mean... Did, uh, uh, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dis dismissively returns the poem on the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbol or some uh, the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I'm trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it's it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sari liked it, and Tyler did too. So based on that, I glance I gladly give I I'll gladly give some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I'd appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it any anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Tyler liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was inspired by it. As he suddenly stands up, the music just cut. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to make our new member Yuri impress our new member Yuri. Eh? And <laughs> the music just kicked back on. That's not what I. Uh, he, he, you're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Tyler appreciated my advice more than he appreciated appreciated yours. Huh, and that's, uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Oh, jeez. Are, are you that full of yourself? I, no. I was full of my, I was full of, my, of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do over, overly cute, cutest. Uh, um, is everything, everyone okay? Well, you know what, what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew in size bigger as, as soon as Tyler started showing. Wow. N Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki, that's a little, this doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly both girls turned towards me as soon as they just noticed I was standing there. Tyler, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she couldn't, if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing and more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. That's the point in making your poems all in convolved or for no reason. The meaning should jump out of, out, out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Tyler. Wait, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and express expressive words in our language. That's the only way I can com be complex feelings and meaning the most efficiently. I avoiding them is not only unaccessorily limits yourself. It also it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Tyler? Um. Well. Dot dot dot. How did I drag? How did I get myself dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. She already hates me. Help me, sorry, Sari. Of course, that's going to. Of course, so of course, it's that's going to be. She really just hated me in the first place. I did like her bone more. There's just kind of default. If I'm going here, asking. 
You're right. I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm? I understand. Yuri? Yeah? You're seriously ta you're seriously talented writer. It's a new secret that I was impressed. Well, well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they still put feeling into it and become something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Uh, but Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you j just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? That's not exact. That's exactly what I did. It was uh, it was her that. Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said something that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm -hmm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. Oh, I feel bad now. She's tra trapping at this point, being de defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. She was really mean to me in the first place. She was not nice. I end up feeling bad for her. Um, something. When, uh, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps me to. T it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sari, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll, it'll separate me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, as he snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way, she crumples up the poem on her hand, uh, with her hands and throws it in the trash. Asuki, she really didn't need, didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I glance, approach, I generally, gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone have uh, not have gotten frustrated after being threatened like that? You handle it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Tyler. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki, uh, Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, uh, what did uh, Natsuki say? <laughs> Dang it. Exclamation mark. Um, well, never mind that. <laughs> I'm going to uh, going to make some tea. She, uh, I made sure like the act like I didn't hear it. Uh, good idea. Make sh uh, make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Tyler, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was not. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> what? And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. I'm not doing this. Why are you doing it the same thing again? So your poems will turn out even better. Dot dot dot. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poem everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound newfound determination. Tyler. Really uh, ready to walk up? Sure, let's go. He Sawyer beams at me. I truly, I it truly has been a while since Sayori, Sayori, and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about that, about what happened earlier. I say it like I say your name like a robot at this point because. She, I, I, I'm just gonna say Siri. You know what? Screw it. I screw it. I'm just gonna say Siri. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, and Natsuki, 
does uh, that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see, I can see why you, they'd make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Tyler, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in this club, but I think seeing you, uh, seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest, and I think everyone really likes you too. That's, hee <laughs> hee, every day is going to be so much fun, sigh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I say that more to myself than I than to her, but it's easy to say Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'll, I'll stop here. We've been going for 30 minutes. It's another poem. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're gonna save the game. And we're gonna quit the game. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like, wanna be, the, if you wanna get a shout out in the next video, be the first to comment. And uh, if you wanna be the first to comment, if you missed out on this, this one. Uh, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit the bell and the icon, and you can be notified when I upload. And we can be here fast if you want. Uh, but that's basically this video. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Talk to you on the next one. Peace.